Robotics and automation have been making manufacturing processes more efficient for decades, but historically they've always been programmed to follow a specific coordinate path. In many cases, a part in the wrong location or a change in the process can cause a stoppage. Now, researchers are finding ways to leverage MT Connect not just to report machine data, but to enable machine-to-machine -machine communication. Now, this allows automated processes to become much more flexible. Matt Robinson of ROS Industrial shows us a fascinating demo of a work cell in which a CNC milling machine, a robot arm, and a coordinate measuring machine are using the technology to flexibly work together. This could be a game changer for flexible automation both inside and outside the factory environment. So ROS Industrial is an open source project. We're looking at bringing the benefits of ROS, the robot operating system, to industrial hardware and applications. So here in the Emerging Technology Center, we're demonstrating basically this idea of like much more efficient and simpler and leveraging open technologies, interoperability for a manufacturing value stream. What we're seeking to do here is to leverage direct machine to machine communication. So basically, what that enables then is that the robot in this particular instance that we have behind me is actually responding dynamically to the states and conditions of the machines that it's participating in the operations with. What I mean is, if for instance the CMM detects an anomaly, the robot generates a unique path plan and can change what it's doing to grab that part and reinsert it in the machine and tell it like, hey, this part needs reworked and the process can then flex and adapt on those changing conditions dynamically. Again, it's observational based, it's direct machine to machine communication, right? So we don't have any like extra hardware like say PLCs acting as coordinators. So that's another benefit in re hopefully reducing the cost of implementation. Yeah, so what we're hoping to do in a future state is the idea like if we have, let's say, a bank of machining centers and a few CMMs and of course like say mobile robots, that we can effectively fully burden those mobile robots and task them effectively across that entire plant's floor space, right? So you can imagine if we have direct access to the order fulfillment, um, basically work order flow down, that indicates basically what we have to make and when it has to go out the door. We can actually dynamically task those robots to respond to that condition as it's changing. And let's say like a hot order comes into it, we can actually reshuffle that line on the fly, because again, it's directly connected. All the machines have visibility to each other, leveraging the MT Connect standard. And of course, the robots are working on ROS, so they can dynamically update their plans and generate new plans on the fly. So what we'd like to do is like the, facilitate the vision, like people talk about lot size of one, right? And obviously it's a very powerful idea, but sometimes it breaks down when we have to have a lot of manual intervention on the fly, right? It just, just takes time for someone to answer the phone, so to speak. What we want to do here is basically enable the agility offerings of both this overall architecture that we've established here in this project with the support of Imana and uh, AMT and leverage the benefits of ROS, which is inherently able to generate unique plans based on a presented condition. Thereby bringing us together, we have this idea of a, of a value stream that can sort of self-optimize based on the presented condition. And that's a powerful idea. It really enables accessibility, again, leveraging open technologies, right? Lower cost, barrier to entry, and basically enable this idea of agility for high mix environments, realizing that idea of lot size of one.